welcome to Inge Team's lab here in Bilbao, northern Spain, and we will show you around the lab what we do, how we test components, power stacks and converters. Our main goal is to design uh, the power stack that will be later used in the converter. Okay, so we can see the one of the key component testing areas that we have is the thermal characterization test bench. And in these test benches, we have lots of them. This one, the, we do the required tests to analyze all the systems or components of the power stack. Here we have the second stage of testing. We've seen the testing of the key components, and now we will see them, how they interact between each other in the final power stack design. So here in my bag, we have the power stack testing area where we have the whole power stack and we test it in many different situations. I don't mind if it's maximum temperature, operation points, overloads, whatever we can find then in the, in the application. This is our low voltage full converter converter, uh, 4 megawatt, uh, mainly focused for onshore and offshore markets in the wind sector. It is uh, based on a modular power stack family and installing several conversion lines we can go up to 10 megawatts or even more. We are in the last area of the, of the lab in where we test the whole power converter. We started with the key component testing area, then we follow with the power stack testing area, and at the end, the power converter testing area. Here we test both firmware and hardware uh, products all together in order to see if the final product is ready to go to series production. So here we perform three types of tests. Okay? The first one is just related to the firmware. It consists on heel hardware in the loop and seal software in the loop tests. This is just for testing the firmware. Then we introduce the firmware in the control electronics that we have in here in the converter, along with the power stack, passive elements such as filters, circuit breakers, etc. All the protection, cooling circuits that we have inside the power converter. And then we test it at full power. We perform heat run tests in order to check that all the temperatures inside the power converter are okay. And at the end, if everything is okay, we proceed with the final test, which is the combined test with a, a generator, a real generator of the power. We are proud to have these facilities and this lets us answering the, our customers' needs in, a, in this rapid changing market. This allows us also optimizing the cost by optimizing the, the designs and maintaining the reliability, which is a very important issue in the wind business and I hope you have enjoyed the visit, that's all.